díganme cómo les digo. Si en algo quieren que les ayude, yo les puedo ayudar, me pueden escribir. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, it just got me out for a minute, uh, but I'm back. Sí, uh, gracias, Catherine. Thank you. Yes, that's what we can do, you know. I mean, if you guys have any question or anything, you can ask or, well, as Catherine says, she, she can also help you with that, you know. So that's pretty much what it is. Mm -hmm. Pero sí, eh, terminando de contestar lo que, lo que me preguntaban por ahí, sí eh, es... Eh, es como una, yo, yo le llamaría con una precalificación, pero sí, eh, básicamente están reuniendo toda su información desde ya, para que cuando ya todo se termine, ya tengan todo listo ahí y poder comenzar rápido, right? Once again. So, so you guys don't lose time. So, Thank you, teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Um, any other question? I mean, any, any question, any other comment, anything you guys want to say? No, no comments, no questions. Yo solo quiero dar una opinión. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Eh, en el grupo mandaron el, el listado de los que no habían mandado el comprobante, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. eh, en mi caso yo ya lo había mandado. Mm -hmm. Sí, fíjese que ahí no, no sé, le mentiría, le digo que, que pasa exactamente. Pero sí, cuando, de hecho yo vi que algunos estaban preguntando y entonces cuando sea así, traten de escribirle directamente a, a Andy en este caso y diga, mire, o si ya envié, la recibieron o no, qué pasó, ¿verdad? Eh, eso. Uh -huh. Pero sí, uh, try, try to contact him, you know, just right away so that you guys can have everything. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, all right, guys. As I said, como les decía, entonces ahora... Eh, vamos a continuar con la siguiente sección. That's going to be number four. Okay. And that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Eh, just before eh, we continue, eh, I'm going to I'm going to take the attendance right now. So I'm going to call your names and see if you're here or if you're not, you know. So we'll see. All right. Okay. Just a second. So if I call your name, guys, just say I'm here or present or anything, you know. So. So I can know that you guys are here. Um, just give me a second right here. All right, so today is um, July 3rd, okay? And so here we go. All right, I'm going to start with the um, Aro Omar. <clears throat> Omar. Marvin Omar, Omar Luzardo. No. Hey, Aaron Omar, uh, Mamaya Aguilar. Yes. Okay, yeah, he's not here. Um, eh, Ada Lisset. Okay. Uh, Ana Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Uh, Ana Esmeralda. Present. Mm -hmm. uh, then we're with Anna Noemi. Present. Thank you. Uh, Carl Vladimir. Present. Consuelo del Rosario. Present. Elida Maritza. Then we go with uh, Flor de Maria. Okay, uh, Jasmine Magdalena. Joanna Guadalupe. Present. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Jose Ismael. Present. Catherine Tatiana. Present. Jose Salvador. I'm here. Okay, um, Marilyn Ivan. Excuse me, good night. Good night. Uh, How are you? 
No problem. The traffic jam. Not your body, don't worry. Okay, um, Marie Concepcion. Present. Marvin Omar. Present. Um, Nidia Jamilet. I'm here. Okay, then we'll go with Nidia, uh, sorry, Nidia. Present. Omar Luzardo. Rebecca Beatriz. Present, Omar Luzardo. Yeah, I I'm see. here. Thank you. Reina Lisette. Okay. Ricardo Alfonso. Eh, Rosario Cristabel. Wilber Enrique. Present. Thank you. Eh, Yesenia Abigail. I'm here. Thank you. And Selena. Elisa. Present. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Thank you for um thank you actually for helping me with the attendance right here. I appreciate that. Okay. Um so um that's pretty much what uh okay, you tell me Chris, what is it? Yeah, sí, es de aquí donde digo documents and the majority, se ve que viene bien fuerte, por si me llego a salir y, y mi cámara está falla, no sé si la puedo apagar, pero el micrófono sí lo puedo tener por cualquier consulta. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, no problem. All right. Um, Teacher. Film. What happened? Eh, yo, entré puntual, yo entré puntual a las 7, pero estoy teniendo problemas de conexión, entonces me costó volver a entrar por día paso lista, pero sí soy puntual y fue por la señal que me sacó. Okay, problem. I got it. All right, just give me a minute, guys, for any reason. Just tune in. Should be good now. All right. Uh, okay, guys. So we're going to continue here. Uh, what I said to you before. Um. So one of the things that uh we are going to be discussing or we're going to be talking about today is basically a you know well the next stop you know, the next session. Um. And as I said, just I'm gonna ask you to try to keep in mind that you guys have to work in this uh, sections right. And uh, something else is that uh, you have it ready for today because that is when they are going to check and apparently they changed the date for um, at least that's what I was told beginning it was Friday. Now I can see that it's actually not Friday, it's Thursday. So um, this is what we have right here. We're going to start. With... And it says um, here, uh, who's on this? That is basically the name of the segment. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, we're going to be working with the time, okay? That, uh, we're going to be here. So if you guys have any about the topics, I'll see. So, yeah. I'll see. Eso quería decir yo, se le oye súper cortado, no se le entiende muy bien lo que está diciendo. No, no. Teacher, disculpe, pensé que era yo, pero veo que todos tenemos un problema. Sí, yo por eso me estaba cambiando también, porque se oye como cortado, no se le entiende. ¿Y ahora pueden escucharme? ¿Todavía es el mismo problema? Yeah. ¿Es el Escucha mismo mejor ahora. Ok. Sí, eh... Okay, cool. All right, no problem. So, ya me pueden escuchar mejor, ¿cierto? ¿Ya no se escucha cortado o todavía sí? Se escucha bien ahora. Uh -huh. Les voy a contar lo que era. Uh, para que sepan, uh, acá, entonces, cuando usted conecta un uh, otro dispositivo por USB o HDMI, entonces, el audio se está cambiando entre esos dos. Y eso estaba tratando de hacer, cambiarlo en Zoom, pero... Dijo que no quería y que no lo iba a cambiar. Así que ahí se quedó. <ríe> ok, es que tenían los otros monitores conectados. That's why. It never gave me a problem. Nunca dio un problema, pero I'm going to check it once we finish the class. Cuando terminamos la clase, lo voy a revisar. Ok, so this is what we're going to be doing right here, guys. And it says, you know, um, our adjective today, uh, it's actually about, give me a second here. Our adjective today, it says, in this class, you will learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure, okay? Leisure, you know, it's like your time to, to rest. That's what it is. 
So that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. And uh, uh, here we go. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna play the uh, video right here, guys, and I'm gonna ask you to listen and just try to uh, watch the video as well, okay? Let's see. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the image towards the left-hand side are for work. And the ones towards the right hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Okay, let's listen and repeat, okay? Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Belt. Jacket. Pants. Suit. Coat. Shoes, blouse, scarf, skirt, high heels, raincoat, dress, clothes for leisure, hat, sweater, jeans, gloves, boots, Cap, T-shirt, shorts, socks, sneakers, pajamas, swimsuits. Now is your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. If the clothes are not mentioned here, you should add them. For example, I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts at home. After you do this, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, guys. Serious. Now, as we were talking right here, these now are is your turn. actually clothes for work and clothes for leisure. That's what he's saying. So those are clothes that we use, you know, when we are going to work and clothes that we use as well whenever we are not working, whenever we, whenever we have to relax or just, you know, take, take a break on, on everything, right? This is not working. Let me reload it. Okay. Now, uh, pretty much, you, I would say that you know a little bit about clothes, uh, clothing, or if you don't know anything, that's also okay, because we're going to work on this right here, okay? So, let me get there. Let me just a minute right here. Okay, this is what it is. It says, uh, basically, it's a unit form in this interchange book, and it says, I'm not wearing boots. So... Uh, this is what it is, you know. So now one thing I want you to pay attention to, it's actually the, the words that are plural. Una cosa que sí eh, debemos prestar atención son las palabras que son plurales, okay? Uh, for example, <clears throat> sorry. For example, we say pants. Pants means pantalones, right? And this is... No, aunque nosotros en español sí decimos un pantalón, but really it's not correct, pero realmente no está correcto decirlo así. So, we actually have to say um, un par de pantalones o pantalones, right? Por ejemplo, in English, uh, that's how we say it. Um, can you hear me, guys? ¿Me pueden escuchar ahorita? Can you guys hear me? ¿Sí? ¿Me escuchan? Sí, sí, okay. sí, sí. Thank you. Okay. Just making sure. Solo Okay. So, <clears throat> for example, uh, we will say uh, this, my bad. This are gyms. Okay. That's how we will say. We don't say this is gyms. We don't say it this way. 
And that's what we're going to be studying today. Y esto es lo que vamos a estar usando, uh, aprendiendo. When we have to use this and when we have to use um, this and this, okay? This right here, it's a mistake. So we don't write it this way. We will go this way. But um, just for you to know and just for you to uh, make sure about the pronunciation and everything, um, I just want to ask you, do you have a question about how to pronounce any of these words or do you have a question on the meaning of anything of these words right here? Tienen preguntas sobre la pronunciación de alguna, el significado, mm -hmm. anything? Sí, sobre el significado. Which one? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál de todas? Sobre la pregunta exactamente que acaba de hacer, o sea, la diferencia de las dos que acaba de mostrar. Ah, hacer. eso ya lo vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. Ya lo vamos a ver. Solo ahorita sobre, sobre el vocabulario. No sé si hay alguna duda sobre el, el vocabulario de esto acá. ¿No? Ok. Sí, vamos a llegar ahí, vamos a llegar ahí, pero solo para que vean y tenerlos ahí como dicen picados, para que vean lo que vamos a estar viendo ahora. Pero sí, ya vamos ahí. Pero primero me interesa ver si tenemos dudas sobre esto, sobre el vocabulary. Any question about this? No? Okay. Okay, pretty good. All right, if you guys don't have any question, that's pretty good actually. All right, now, now that's what it is, you know. We actually have right here, a, you know, we have a shirt, we have a tie, we have the blouse, scarf, belt, jacket, right? This is a jacket right here. We have pants, we have and, and the jacket and all that makes a suit right un traje right the suit and then we got the shoes we got the coat we got the skirt the high heels and the scarf right and we also have right here the dress um and we got the raincoat we use it for the rain that's what we use it for right now the clothes for leisure it's uh, we have a hat we got globes we got a sweater we got jeans and boots. We also have a cup, a t-shirt, no teacher, mm -mm, t-shirt. And then we got shorts, socks, sneakers, pajamas, and swimsuits. Okay, so that's what we have right here. Okay, and that's pretty much what we need to, I would say, like check on the things that we have. Now, that's pretty much what we're going to be using in this unit. Um, and uh, now, if you don't have any question, we'll go right there to the next um, two, three. Okay. Uh, we'll go right now to the next, uh, what is it? Uh, I was a next uh, objective right here. Now, one of the things that you have to know, guys, is that we are going to learn as well the colors and uh, basically, you know, how we can use it in our daily life, okay? For example, we can have a, a red t-shirt, a red cup, for example, and that's what we're going to be talking about right now, okay? So, this is what it is, okay. Mm, okay, now, before I go with this, antes de que pongamos la conversación, I want to go back here and give me a second. Give me just a minute, or is it? Okay. Now, if you guys remember, we were talking about this one time. We talked about this, right? This, it's actually singular, right? We talked about that like a, a few units ago. I think it was um, last week. And we have this. Now, this it's plural, okay? So, entonces, si yo quiero decir estos son pantalones, I will have to go this way. These are jeans, right? Okay. And, for example, 
uh, if I want to say something in plural, uh, yeah, I will I will go and I will use are. Are is something that we is the plural form of the verb to be, but we don't have to say it this way. Why not? Porque diciendo, diríamos estos son o oh, este es pantalones. So it doesn't make sense, right? So we have to say estos son pantalones. These are gyms. The pronunciation, the difference is this, you know, like this. And this is like this, a little long, a little long. This, 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 this. And that's basically the difference between those two. So, um, esa es básicamente la diferencia entre la pronunciación de los dos y también la forma en cómo los usamos. Singular, plural, right? Um, no sé si está más o menos clara ahí la... Eh, porque me preguntaron sobre eso. I, I don't remember who yes. asked. About it. Yeah, is it clear now? Yes? Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. All right. Uh, all right, so... Any other question right now, guys? Is it good with you? Are we good with that? Solo la pronunciación, teacher, de las dos, porque mm -hmm. el plural eh, dicen que hay que abrir más la boca como que está riendo. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh -huh. Por eso, okay. dice, ¿por ¿qué tan cierto será? Eh, sí, sí. Uh, ahorita le digo, vea. Eh, what's going on is this. Okay, bye. This, and then it's this. It, it actually, no es como this, exagerado tanto, no. <laughs> Pero sí tiene que tener como más largo, más largo el sonido, y sí lleva un sonido entre I y E, que es como this, this. Y ese es this, like this, 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 this. Uh, but... Pero, ¿cómo va a decir? Mire, teacher, pero es que yo cuando escucho hablar a los norteamericanos, yo escucho lo mismo, ¿ok? Entonces, ¿cómo se va a dar cuenta fácilmente si es plural o singular? ¿Cuál de los dos le están, le están diciendo? Porque con uno de estos, con el singular, usted tiene que usar is, ¿ok? No puede usar are, entonces sería... This is a, a what? A cup. This is a cup. Okay. Entonces acá voy a decir these are shorts. Okay. Entonces acá es donde tenemos nosotros el acá es donde podemos como decir um, saber. ¿Cuál, cuál, nos, ¿Cuál les están diciendo? ¿Cuál es el que nos están, eh, nos están preguntando, usando, diciendo, lo que sea? ¿Por qué? Porque si me dicen, this is, ah, no, dijo is. Y yo sé que is va con este, con this, con el que es singular. Ok, entonces ya vi a mi ubico. Entonces, pero si me dicen, these are, mm, no, está hablando en, en, en plural. Entonces está usando this. Entonces esa es como otra... Uh, otra cosita que les puedo dar como un truco mm -hmm. that you can uh, use in order to I would say know what is it that they are asking you for or what is it that they are using mm -hmm. pero sí la pronunciation sería this is like short como es corto this como puntual this and this is like a little long más larguito y si hasta cierto punto tiene que mantener la boquita la boca abierta pues pero es this 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 This, this, this. Otra vez, a un punto va a sonar lo mismo, <ríe> probablemente. Pero entonces, ¿cómo van a poder diferenciar? Con esto, verb to be. Verb to be is going to help you to differentiate that. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what it is. Uh -huh. Are we clear on that? Yes? We good? Welcome. Yes. Okay. okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Now let's go right here, you know, with the next, uh, I will say with the next activity right here. And this is colors in conversations. It's a disaster, it says. So let's go. Hi, everyone. One. 
In this class, you'll learn the colors and you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real conversation. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. Light gray. Gray. Dark gray. Beige. Light brown. Brown. Dark brown. Black. Orange. Yellow. Light green. Green. Dark green. Light blue. Blue. Dark blue. Purple. Now, we're going to listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great! Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. If you have a partner with whom you can practice with, that will be great. If it's just you, I would still encourage you to practice on your own. Okay, so that is basically the conversation that we have right here. Okay, now one of the things that uh, we want to, I would say like, um mention is that uh, we can use the colors actually as I would say to describe something as well and you probably know that okay so we have right here white dark gray brown light gray beige dark brown gray you know light brown black we got red pink orange yellow light green green dark green light blue blue dark blue and purple so basically guys if you say if you say right here light brown is como es uh and then we have dark brown which is the difference cuál sería la diferencia entre light brown y dark brown who knows mm. quién sabe Light brown is cafe claro y dark brown cafe oscuro. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing we do in Spanish. Es lo mismo que nosotros hacemos en español. Entonces quiere decir que un color es más claro, le agrega light. Light brown, light gray, light red, light pink, light orange. Pero si quiere decir que es como oscurito, entonces le agregamos dark. Dark brown, dark red, dark pink, dark orange. No sé si existen esos colores oscuros, pero, o sea, la idea es esa. <laughs> okay, so, that's, that's the idea, okay? Dark is for saying that it's a little bit darker, like, más oscuro, right? And light is como más claro, right? That's what it is. Questions about the colors? No? No questions? No. Okay, well, uh, we're going to go back right here, and we're going to complete the chart with the words in part eight. It says, circle clothes in part, I'm sorry, my bad, it's this one. So, clothes for warm weather. So, warm weather is like, como un clima calientito, right? And clothes for cold weather, you know, like cold, right? Like it's freezing. Okay, so that's what I want you to do. On your notebook, please, I want you to write that. Clothes for uh, warm weather and clothes for warm weather and so from these clothes right here I want you to put it right here on this section or this section okay is that clear 
questions about the activity? No, no preguntas, está claro? Yes? Okay, let's work it out then. I'm gonna give you a few minutes, guys. And so whenever you finish, just raise your virtual hand, please. I have a question. I'm sorry. I have a question. Tell me that again, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. And can I wear uh, a scarf in the in the warm weather? In, sorry, in the cold weather. Like it's, it's, you said, a scarf like like this one or the skirt. Yes, but in the cold weather. I will no, say so. Scarf. Yeah. Mm hmm yeah yes. why not okay. you know I, I wear them sometimes when it's really really cold yes yes you can mm -hmm. yeah okay thank you mm -hmm. okay guys one more minute one more minute and then we will check it okay then we will just practice a little bit about the colors and the conversations as well Okay, let's start checking this right here, guys. Okay, I'm going to ask you, what about a shirt? When can you use that? For warm weather or for uh, cold weather? Warm weather? Yes, you can use it for warm weather. What about a tie? Warm. Mm -hmm. A belt? Warm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What about a jacket? Warm. Okay. Sometimes you can wear that when it's like, I mean, not that this type of jacket. This is like a blazer, but the other type of jackets you can wear them when it's cold. What about a coat? When do you, when can you use it? For work. For cold. 
for yeah, cold. I will say for cold weather. Mm -hmm. And shoes. Warm. Mm -hmm. All right. A, a blouse. Warm. 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 Yeah, you can put it under the sweater, right? But yes. And a scarf. On cold weather. Warm. Cold. Oh. If you're going to work, probably you can wear it in warm weather, but the other type of a scarf, the one that are for cold weather, I mean, you use them on the cold weather, right? Then the skirt. Warm. Mm -hmm. And warm. then we got the heels or high heels, which are tacones, right? The high heels. Warm. Mm -hmm. Warm, warm mm -hmm. weather. Okay. A raincoat. Cold. Cold I would say that's probably for cold weather. What about a dress? Warm. Warm. Mm -hmm. cold. Then we got a hat. Cold. 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 Mm -hmm. Then we got gloves. Cold. cold. Jeans. Cold. cold. Well, you can use cold. them in both. Warm and cold weather. It, it's up to you. I mean, here in El Salvador, we use them when it's warm, you know, anyways, right? That's what we do. Uh, what about the boots? The These type of boots, that's the tipo de botas. What about this type? Cold. Of cold. Cold. Yes, it's actually for cold weather, right? Then uh, we also have uh, right here the, um, let's see, the cup. When do we use it? Warm. Warm. Mm -hmm. the, the t shirt warm warm weather uh huh when we got shorts warm weather warm mm -hmm. weather. socks warm cold sneakers cold. what about pajamas oh, you can use them both right both of them well. when do you go to sleep right <laughs> and the swimsuits when do we use that Warm weather. Warm weather. Yes, that's pretty much what we do. Okay. Now, that's basically what we do. Now, talking, talking about the, I would say the colors, guys. Uh, who wants to be a volunteer and likes to read the colors? Who wants to read the uh, colors right here in English? Just read them. Mm -hmm. Okay, Aaron, help us, please. Let's go. Okay, uh, white, uh, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, and purple. Good job. Thank you so much. Thank you, Aaron. Any other volunteer? Okay, let's go with Joanna and then we will go with Nidia and then with Consuelo. So, Joanna, go ahead. White, dark gray, brown, light gray, beige, dark brown, gray, light brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, Purple. Purple. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Thank you. Now let's go with you, Nidia, please. White, light gray, gray, dark gray, gray, pardon, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, um, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue. Purple. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Now let's go with you, Consuelo, please. White, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, Blue, dark blue, purple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for helping me with that. 
uh, and also with the boy right there with Omar as well. Okay, now just a couple of things. We, we will say right here, white, right? And then we will say light, light. We will say light, no, we'll say light gray, uh huh, light and dark, light, dark. Okay, just remember light when the color is going to be soft and dark when it's going to be like, I would say heavier, right? That's what it is. But with these guys, we actually have a question and it says, what are your favorite colors? Okay. That is one question that we have. So look at the answer. It says, my favorite colors are red and purple. Okay. So that's pretty much what it is. So if I ask you uh, right now, let's see. Uh, okay. Jose Salvador. What are your favorite colors? Uh, my favorite color is black. Okay. What are your favorite colors? Okay. Now, and you have two ways to answer this. You can say, my favorite colors. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Sir Jose. My favorite... Uh, my favorite colors are, and then just say two colors like uh, green and yellow, an example, okay? Or you can say, you can say it in a different way. You can say there, which means they are, there, green and yellow, okay? Now, pay attention to this because right here it says, what are your favorite colors, okay? So it says, are, what are your favorite colors? And so if they are asking you for more than one, you have to answer with more than one. If they ask you, what is your favorite color? What is your favorite color? Then you can say, my favorite color is, and then you say the color. Or you can say, it's, and then you say red. Okay, so this is what you have to pay attention, guys. Okay, so this is what you actually have to pay attention. And it's what we have right here. Okay, so it says, what are your favorite colors? And it says, my favorite colors are green and yellow. Why? Porque, ojo, aquí le están preguntando are. Entonces, ¿cuáles son? Suponiendo que tuviera varios. Unos dos o tres o veinte, right? <laughs> but then it's like, what is? Now it's just one, a single one. What is your, uh, my bad, favorite color? Uh, just making a lot of typos today. Okay, so that's what it is. And then you say, my favorite color is red. Or, y claro, si usted quiere, quiere evitarse la fatiga diciendo, my favorite color is, or my favorite colors are, solo puede decir de una vez, there. Que there, en este caso, significa they are, right? There, green, and yellow. Or you can say, it's red both two ways so you have two ways to answer that así que tenemos dos formas de preguntar eso so we have two ways to answer that okay so then um that's pretty much what we have right here and i'm gonna ask um let's see so jose salvador do me a favor uh now can you ask one of these questions well, are you here, Jose? Yes. Can you ask? Ahora puede usted preguntarle una de estas preguntas a su compañero. In English, you can say, ask one of these questions. And in Spanish, you can say it as well. It sounds weird. Uh, so can you ask one of these questions to your classmates? Mm -hmm. Or, Jose, ya no está por aquí. Se nos fue. No, sí, ahí está. 
Yesenia Abigail Guevara Morales. Uh -huh. What are your favorite colors? My favorite color is are. black. My favorite color is are black. Is mm. sorry, sorry, Jesani. Jose, can you repeat your question, please? Uh, what are your favorite colors? Okay. So is this question, Jesani? This question. Mm -hmm. My favorite, my favorite color is color R, Anywhere black, um, <laughs> red. Okay. Once again, repeat the answer, please, Yesenia. Yesenia, can you repeat the answer, please? Uh, I don't. No, ¿puedes repetir la respuesta, por favor? Can you repeat the answer? My favorite color at are black and red. Good job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now you, Yesenia, ask to one of your classmates, please. Ahora pregúntese a alguien sus compañeros. What is your favorite color, Aaron Omar? My favorite color is black. Okay, now you, Aaron, can you ask somebody else? What are, you, what are your favorite colors, Nidia Gemlix? Dijo Nidia. Onyxia. Yes. No, Nidia okay. Yamilex. Repeat the question, please. Mm -hmm. What are your favorite colors? My favorite colors are purple and black. Okay, my favorite colors are purple and black. All right. Now, your turn, Nidia, ask somebody else, please. What is your favorite color, Ana Beatriz? Uh, my favorite color is uh, purple. Purple? Mm -hmm. Purple? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, now you want to ask the last person, please. Ask a question to one more person. Kenny, what are your favorite colors? Dijo Kenny, ¿verdad? Yes. Let's go, Kenny. You can do it. No? Bueno. Okay. So, um, okay, guys. So, those are the questions, okay? So, all you have to do is just pay attention, okay? If they are asking you for one color or if they are asking you in plural for more than one colors, right? So then just remember, you can say there or you can say it's and you're going to be good. All right. So with that being said, uh, we're going to continue now with the next activity. And so what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to try to uh, practice reading this conversation here. OK. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to ask uh, for volunteers. So we can read this conversation. Any volunteer that likes to uh, to read the conversation? Mm -hmm. Volunteers? 
You can raise your virtual hand, please. Okay, thank you so much. Pueden levantar su manita virtual, porfa. Okay, you can raise your virtual hand. All right. Okay. No, don't worry, don't worry. No importa, ahí, ahí solo cambiamos los, los roles. Tranqui. No problem. Ok, vaya, Aaron no quiere ayudar, dice. Thank you, Aaron. So, vaya, vamos a poner. Joanna, you're going to be. Uh, you're going to be uh, Julie. And Aaron, you're going to be Pa. Ok. okay. Let's go. <laughs> Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new gloves? What color is it? Mm -hmm. It's white. There's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Why? It's mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, are, are those are the light blue? Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. <laughs> okay, oh, sorry, they're mine. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Any other uh, volunteers? Volunteers? Any more volunteers right here? Okay. Thank you, Catherine. And thank you, Omar. So, Catherine, you're going to be Pat. And Omar, you're Omar Luzardo, you're going to be Julie. Thank you. Gracias por ser voluntarios. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Yes, light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it is not mine. Wait, it's mine. It's a disaster. Oh, no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh. There, man. Sorry. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Okay. Now we will go with the next couple. That's going to be a uh, Nixia. You're going to be Pat, and Jose Ismael. You're going to be Julie. Let's go. Great. Our clothes are. Where is my no blue? What color is it? It's it. It's why? It, it is light blue. Blue is it, it jewel. No, it's. No, it's not mine. Why is it me? It's a disaster. Oh, no, all, all clothes aren't lead blue. Here's the problem. It's this new blue jeans. These jeans are they? Hasta ahí veo yo. Just... Okay, don't worry. It's a... Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, guys, do you have any question about the meaning of any of these words? Tiene alguna pregunta sobre el significado de una palabra? About any meaning of any of these words? Uh -huh, tell me. And disaster. Disaster. Uh, disaster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other one? Okay. So it says right here, great. It says great. Uh, great. Our clothes are dry. 
Where is my new blouse? Okay, you keep an eye on that. Blouse. And then we say great blouse. And it says, what color is it? It's white. Then it says, here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Disaster. And it says, oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's this new blue jeans. Whose jeans are these? Whose is como decir de quien, right? De quien son estos pantalones? Whose blue jeans? Whose jeans are these? Okay, so now guys, uh, let's do something. Try to practice the colors and also the clothes because tomorrow we're going to continue using that and we're going to continue with that tomorrow, okay? So um, I don't know if you have any question before I let you go because I actually have another class. But any little question you might have? Bueno, si no, si tienen alguna preguntita, como les digo siempre, anótenla y si ahorita no logramos, pues mañana la primera cosa que hagamos sería responder preguntas. Así que traten de practicar los colors and the clothes, ¿ok? So, uh, I see you tomorrow, guys, ¿ok? Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Guys, take care.